I'm gonna start off by saying that you should probably not try this at home. <laughs> Our boat moves really fast with a limited amount of sail. We don't need much. And when you get a big 30 knot gust and you have lots of sail, it gets- Things go sideways. It gets sporty. <laughs> completely exploded in our davit system up here. So the top one in the front here, let's see if I can get a better view of that. You see we've got one, but not two. So the question is now, how do we get it off to replace it when it hangs off the back of the boat like this? There's no way to get access to it, so. We thought we'd try, see if we could put this in the dinghy. That's not gonna work. It's too big? It's too big. Um, but I have an idea of using the top climber and the chair that I think will do the trick. It's gonna be a little bit finagling, but I think it'll do it. Wanna try? Let's do it. This is how they had figured out how to get a double block into the davit system and have a hanger on it. It's not exactly what it was intended for originally, but it works. And now we have to see if we can either find a replacement or put together enough hardware to make something to do the same thing. So off to the store we go again, yay, right? Yep. So time to jump in the dinghy with the storm headed our way and take a nice walk and see if we can find what we need. There we go. Some bushwhacking to do. Yeah. Ah. So we're hiking, we just hiked up over this little ridge or mountain through a little neighborhood. But this is what it's like, lots of birds chirping. I don't know if it was a great idea, but we're doing it. Lots of sweat to go to a place that may or may not have one park that we may be able to actually source on the island. So you do what you gotta do. Look how hot we are. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh my god. Face. Oh my god. We walked in the store and it's air conditioned, which is lovely. But as soon as we got in there, when you start moving, it's like your body all of a sudden explodes. Oh, it looked like we just walked out of the shower. Oh, I was embarrassed goodness. sitting there talking to him, just pouring yeah. down. They're dressed all nice and lovely, and we're just two gross sailors. So yeah. there you go. That happened. But the great news is we got three new sheaves. So. Yeah really bright all of a sudden yeah so we'll be able to put things back together and we got a yeah. spare <clears throat> yeah so we were hoping to change all four if we could find them because um, I'm sure the other ones look just as bad as the two that we just took down but at least we've got an extra one in case the the right side goes wonky and we're yeah. good to go so now 
it's time to get our Heiners back on the road and walk again. Yay, fun, let's go. <laughs> okay, so we got part in hand. We're back in the dinghy and it's time to do the install. So let's get her done. Let's go, ready? guys it's time to get back in the bosom chair back get, the get his hiner back swinging over the water and get this job done i'm tired of it i'm hot and i want to go swimming let's do this thing Talk to me, Goose. Uh, I was trying to line up the hole and then Tamir handed me a screwdriver just so I could push the other pulley block out. It's kind of hard because you have three separate plates, two pulleys, and then two outer holes to line up. So I was trying to get it and I couldn't, so I put a screwdriver in the other end. As soon as I bumped it, the bolt shot right out the other side and bloop, into 30 feet of water. So our good buddies over here on the Hunter 410, uh, second wind, we messaged him right away and he's like, I think I got some bolts for you. So we're gonna rip over there. Hopefully we can still get this whole thing put back together tonight. So we wanna leave here tomorrow morning. Boat jumps over water, never easy. Yep. Okay, viewer champion. And you have everything in your boat. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that one. Okay, two and a half. Yeah, this one's gonna be close, slightly actually. longer, and then this one's the five sixteenths. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What something's gonna work here. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. You guys rock, friends. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> cruisers helping cruisers. <laughs> I feel it's never the other way though. You guys no, are always no, saving no, our no, ass, no, so. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. All, right, all right, let's get this done before the sun goes down. Thank you, you guys rock. Third try, here we go. Me. We're band-aided, we're back in action. This will hold for now, and then we'll get the replacement bolt when we get back into the, the city around the other side of the uh, island here next couple of days. But we can hook the dinghy to get there now. <laughs> we did it, baby. Get me out of the way. <laughs> Hey everybody, we've had a lot of comments and questions that are regularly coming in and starting to pile up, whether through direct message or on the comments section. And we thought, let's just start weekly, maybe doing a bit of a Q&A and we'll start piling them up and uh, answering them as we go. Mm -hmm. So. Today we wanted to just kind of tackle the main questions that we've been getting over and over again. And we thought we'd start there and then move on. We started sailing back when COVID hit in 2020. We kind of ran out of things to do and we were trying to find a new activity and we thought, hey, let's give sailing a try. So we bought a 26 foot McGregor and we learned to sail on our lake back in Kelowna uh, through YouTube. 
Which is crazy. We're YouTube sailors. We are. And we <laughs> sailed the heck out of that boat. We loved we it. It was so much fun. Yeah. And, uh, so we fell in love with it and it became an idea, five year plan. We were going to then make this our retirement. We were going to live on a boat and sail the world. And then we went on a trip. It was on a 41 foot Catalina in Howe Sound. And that was it. We were hooked that we were not waiting any longer. <laughs> nope. As soon as we got back, we started looking for boats. The house was going up for sale. All of our stuff was getting sold. And we're your cliche. We sold everything and bought a sailboat and now we're traveling the world. We were all in and we still are. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good sign. <laughs> My most recent career is uh, I worked for uh, corporate Yamaha in Canada. I was a district sales manager. I had the funnest job. I got to play with all the toys, um, hang out with dealers and um, Really, it was like going to Top Gun for me. I grew up riding and racing everything Yamaha branded. Snowmobiles, motorcycles, the works. Um, an avid motorsports enthusiast. And uh, so for me, that's probably one of the funnest careers I've ever had. I've had a lot of other jobs in the construction industry and in sales, but my most recent one with Yamaha was probably my favorite. Yeah, for sure. So before we got into sailing, I had just started a new career as a mortgage broker. I just finished my schooling and started with an awesome company and almost one year to the day, I quit <laughs> because this life was now beginning and it was really hard one to give up. Uh, it was an interesting industry to be into and uh, but I'm liking this one better. That sounds really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Uh, before that, I just had various sales jobs um, in the motorsports industry uh, as well as hospital and I was a massage therapist which is really good helping this guy here because he's obviously getting some bad things going on yep. lately. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that my favorite thing about living on the boat is the freedom to move. Uh, we're gypsies. We always have been. We get antsy pants so fast mm -hmm. that it was like, let's move to a new city, buy a new house, all this kind of stuff every couple of years. And now we get to do it. We can take our house and just go wherever it is that we it's want to do cool and explore thing. something different. There's no more of the big change going on. It's just, let's find it on the map and see if the wind will take us there. <laughs> so that's what I love about the boat. I actually, I love living on the sailboat. I love all of the systems and how I call it our spaceship. And I love being able to work on it and maintain it ourselves. But my number one thing about living on the sailboat is I'm going to say community. Hmm. Um, I've, lived in many many cities in uh, throughout Canada uh, some small some large but this is the first community I've ever been in where uh, everyone is welcome like I honestly it's you can roll up in a ten thousand dollar sailboat or a million dollar yacht everyone's got the same backyard and they all have the same issues and everyone <laughs> typically is willing to lend a hand and help and yes and uh I think that part to me has really been an eye opener. It's such, it's such been such a really cool experience. Definitely. I'm going to have to say that the worst part of living on a sailboat is we've called it many times the high highs and the low lows, but it's the 80, 20 rule or whatever. Um, it's 80% work to get that 20% <laughs> of awesome. True. And and it is a lot of work and there's a lot of days where you're not getting a lot of sleep and you get you're you're just exhausted and um you get bounced around you get, just you name it things are breaking and you're fixing the same thing over and over and hard to get parts and there's chat this is a challenging lifestyle it really is mm -hmm. but the juice is worth the squeeze <laughs> that 20 percent is epic yeah. we just love it and we love the adventure that goes along with it so um what is my worst part i do I have one? <laughs> we have days. We have days. <laughs> My worst part, and I'm going to be total girly about this, the wind and my hair. It just never stops. It's in my face 24-7. And as you know, I have it up 24-7 because... Wait, it's either in your face or on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Maybe that's the worst is not the boat. It's just my hair. Um, so that's one. The wind is just, it's just too much sometimes. And another thing is you have to take a dinghy everywhere you go. 
So if you want to get dressed nice to go somewhere for dinner or just wear nice clothes, have nice things, it doesn't work. By the time you get to the dock, you're sprinkled in salt water or a huge wave, and then you got to climb from your dinghy onto the dock without having a show for the world. So those are my girly things that I hate <laughs> about living on the sailboat. But like you were saying, for the most part, it all our worst days come when we're tired or hungry. And that can come from a many different things, but that's all easily solved. And then you're back to your boat again, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. So that's our first little question and answer. If you guys have any others, uh, we'll make sure to try and put them in the next couple episodes. We do have a couple more that people have asked as well. So we've got those on the go. But like I said, if you have anything, leave it in the comments. We'll try to get to you. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Please do. We appreciate them all. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. We just weighed anchor. Woohoo! <laughs> the squalls are all around us today, but enough's enough. It's time to get out of that rolling anchorage. Oh. gross for the next week so it's just pick a day and go and it's settled down a little bit today which is nice it's the nicest day we've had in a week so we figured let's get out of the anchorage and yeah. start moving it's funny we were only here for about a week mm -hmm. and we pulled up the chain and it was just hairy so and it, gross. it was disgusting <laughs> yeah that's a good sign it's time to pull the chain and go yes but we yeah. are uh, heading north up to carry mm -hmm. uh, in less than a week from now, we're doing a quick haul. We're going to power wash, do a quick paint on the bottom. Just Big boat us. projects, yeah. little boat projects, yeah, we we're, hope. We're going to actually um, gut our anchor locker too um, and clean it and paint it. Mm -hmm. So there, there is, um, if you read in some of the forums about this model of boat, I think there's a couple other mo um, model hunters that are in there too. They tend to get soggy up there and um, people have asked us about ours and ours is good right now. Mm -hmm. We want to keep it that way, so yeah. we thought, what the heck? We got the paint, we got the stuff. We're just going to pull it all out, clean it really good. We have an old shackle in there that's rusty from um, our road on our spare anchor. That so I'm learning how to splice. Yes, that'll be fun. <laughs> and it, but it's causing some stain. Yes, and it I, is. It'll be nice to get rid of that. So yeah. we got a couple little jobs we're going to do, but mostly it's cosmetic stuff. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and hopefully we get a wee sun window. <laughs> so that we can paint the bottom because there isn't a lot of work that needs done. It just needs cleaned and a quick coat put on. One day, come on, gods, give us one day of sunshine. One day of sun. <laughs> In the meantime, we're just motoring out of uh, St. George's here. Yep. It's been amazing. I absolutely love this country. I Me would too. stay here year round if I could. Um, it's amazing. It is amazing. The people are awesome. It's affordable. There's no, you don't feel pressured ever to buy things. It's just, it's nice. It's such a nice place. Yeah. You know, you don't get, you don't have the boat boy problem that you have in some of the other islands and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just a cool, cool place. Yeah. Anyway, Love it here. We'll be back. We will we'll be, be back. back for sure. Uh, next hurricane season probably is going to be back here. But you know us, anything can happen in a couple months or a couple weeks for that matter. Yep. So we're on our way. We are going to have hopefully a decent sail day today and uh, see some new scenery. Yeah. So get ready. Something new is coming. Yay. Look at the fish I caught. <laughs> you have to hold it out like this. Look how huge it is. <laughs> <laughs> Even the rod's super excited about the new lure. She's dancing. Get a fish, baby. Edge of that. <laughs> it was not fun, friends. 
Looks really pretty in that direction-ish. So let's go there. It's so funny. This is our first sale after we've been kind of held up for three months. We did one quick sale in between there. But this is the first one going out, crossing this channel and all that kind of stuff. And wouldn't you know it, it's a shit ass day. But we told you it was gonna be a shit ass day. We have no choices. We hate to sail on a schedule, but sometimes you just gotta make do and you get there when you get there. We've got about three squalls that we've passed on our way coming through here. We just took the uh, head sail down, sorry, we just took the main sail down because it was uh, gusting up to 30s. And we're like, we don't need to do this. We yeah, need to take it nose. down. It was on our nose. And it was like, we can just motor for a little bit, get past this crazy channel, and then get back into it again. So that was our safe sail plan, and that's what we did. And now we're going through this crazy wobbles, and we'll be out soon and get the sails back up again. So here we go. out that's all we need right now holy man what a day out here look at these waves see that blue sky patch that's where we're going <laughs> why can't we get there quicker <laughs> we're trying We made it. <laughs> I don't know how, but we made it. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in our old stomping grounds. Welcome back to Tyrell Bay, folks. Oh, this is good, because this means we can haul out on Monday and clean this dirty bottom. And the anchorage isn't rolly right now, which is so uh, nice. I want to go to bed right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. Actually, I'm exhausted from that sail today. That it was, was a day. It was exhausting. Yeah. But. As you know, that was a, a very crazy introduction back into uh, sailing passage, tiny passage. Um, but you know what? We learned a lot of things today that we have forgotten when you don't sail for a long time. So number we're back one in being it to win it. <laughs> number one being that our boat moves really fast with a limited amount of sail. We don't need much. <laughs> and when you get a big 30 knot gust and you have lots of sail, it gets things go sideways. It goes sporty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Anyways, we're here, we're safe, and now it's time to start some fun on the hard. Yay! <laughs> Did you just say that? I didn't say it. Oh, right on. Me. Lucky me. 